want to make a short video, at least before I started working on this thing. This is a rotary grain cleaner. And dirty grain, in my case, it's going to have weed seeds going to get dumped in here. The inner cone has three quarter inch squares on it. And this outer one here, which is not here anymore, it's held by like these bands is a quarter inch and I'm going to change that to five per inch, so 200 thousandths square. The idea being that the soybeans in this case will make it, they'll fall through the inner cone, they'll be captured by the outer cone, and then get dumped out the back here into a hopper and then they're going to go up into the bin. So this spins, this rotates, it's like 30 RPM or something. And the reason it's all apart right now is to paint it, but I bought it with the idea that it was functional, but it's not. There's 10 belts on it. Um, this is one of the better ones, but you can see there it's cracked. And there's a... Uh, Three horsepower motor here which I'm hoping works but the wiring on it was all messed up so it's cracked I need to replace there's a panel I'll show you in a bit and then there's a five horsepower uh, loading auger motor that's here oh, it's bent right there maybe I'll straighten that too but to take it all apart to get these belts off and on you need to take various um, pull these apart and disassemble the frame to a large degree um, there were a few th other things wrong and needed a couple new tires. Um, it was pretty crudded up. A couple of the pulleys were messed up. Uh, that main unloading auger, I'll show you the auger itself. It's down here. It's 12 foot long. It's a 10 inch auger. Well, it's a 10 inch tube, 9 inch auger. And the flighting on it is fried. And what had happened at the top of that auger, the bearing was bent. Somehow that housing got lifted and that whole top of that auger was um, bent. So I ended up taking the pulley off that's on the top of the auger, the sleeve that attaches to the auger. Here's the bearing. This is the new bearing. RA100DD. Here's the wiring panel. The uh, insulation's all messed up. So I got a couple new springs, two new wiring. This is the S, what's it called? Well, it's McMaster card. It's S O E E W wire. It's a uh, 10 gauge. There's that. Then there's all the parts over here. This is the auger tube. There's a sliding part here that goes there. It goes inside of this and it was all rusted so I put core seal on it and then primed it and painted it. Um, this is the top bracket that mounts on the top to the 5 horsepower motor. It goes mounted on on that plate. And that all gets, sorry for spinning around, that all gets mounted here on, onto this post. And you can swing this around in the transport position. And then that auger is right here. In use, it swings around, and the bottom of the auger will be down to the front, front tires of the tractor. So the reason I'm having to do this is I got so many weeds in my in my soybeans. Um, so ten new belts, pulleys, a couple new pulleys, and as long as I got it all apart, I'm going to pressure wash this and then uh, spray prime it, and I'll paint this part white again and this part red, as long as I'm doing it. I think I've got about 10 more days till the soybeans are ready to uh, get combined. Got a few things parked for the winter, the drill, the planter. 
I haven't hooked the bean head up to the combine this fall. When I last left it, there was something fried on these clutch plates, these slip clutch plates. I'm gonna have to uh, try to come up with a plan for that because last year I couldn't use that air, air reel. I'd like to try to use it, but uh, there's the VFD for the 40 horsepower VFD for the three phase to convert three phase for the bin. Um, there's my five horsepower motor for that auger for the seat cleaner, grain cleaner. Uh, so the controls, low voltage controls for the uh, moisture, moisture monitoring system in the bin. So it's just to repair and replace. I'll make a note, I'll make a follow-up video. I wanted to show this before and I'll do an after if just for my own sake because I've had a hard time sourcing some of these parts. So if anybody else ever comes across this, they can uh, maybe find them a little bit easier than I did. It'll be fun getting that new screen back in there, isn't it?